Hello everybody, my name is Avery with Online Income and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a PayPal donate button. To make a PayPal donate button, you'll need to have a PayPal account and I already have one and I'm on my PayPal dashboard right now. So from here, what you wanna do is go to tools and you'll go to PayPal buttons. The next thing you wanna do is go over to donate. Accept donations and contributions on your site. Now more step one of four, make your donation button. Customize how your button looks on your site. I'm gonna have the country of the United States, but they have plenty of different countries up here. I'm gonna stick with the United States and I'm gonna stick with English. I'm gonna use PayPal button style. I'm gonna use a large, but we can see the small one. And we can see the large one. And you use your own button image. If I was to click on that, I can go ahead to the button image URL and type in my URL. I'm not gonna worry about that because I just want regular donate button. Step two, enter a URL for your logo, which is optional. So if you have a logo that you wanna use, you can go ahead and put one in. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And I'm going to go down organization name I'll just leave it at Avery Harris LLC you have your purpose which is optional and you can go ahead and put that in here let your donors choose specific programs for their donations you got no or you got yes if you only have one it's best to just use no but if you have more than one you can go ahead and put in the program's names it says note this button is intended for fundraising if you're not raising money for a cause please choose another option and let's go ahead and put continue Step three, set donation amounts. The currency you'll receive donations in is the US dollars. Amount donors can give any amount, an exact amount or a set of three amount options plus any amount. But I'm gonna stick with any amount. Let donors make monthly recurring donations? Yes, if they want. Step four, optional settings. Get info from your donors route donors back to your site set account identifier extra HTML button variables which is also advanced so let's go to the first one do you need to receive the donors mailing address donors may not choose to share addresses you may only use donor addresses in accordance with PayPal's privacy statement I personally will not need a person's address so I'm going to go ahead and put no let donors send an optional note to you with their donation yes route donors back to your site take donors to this url if they cancel the, a donation before completing it take a donor to this url once they complete the donation i'm gonna leave both of these blank you set an account identifier the thml button code includes a reference to your paypal account so we know where to send money we recommend a encrypted merchant ID for your account identifier so your email address isn't visible to spammers. So you can use an merchant account ID, which is recommended, or you can use an email address. Add extra THML button variables. And from here, you can add any extra codes that you want in your button. And after that, we can go ahead and finish and get the code. I have finished making the donate button. Now I can add the button to a site or share with people. You have three options which are the HTML code, the URL, and the QR code. I'm going to copy and paste the HTML code to a website I'm designing which is called Destin Planner where you can buy faith based planners. This website was built on Squarespace so it will likely look different than how you would get to the code editor but what you want to do is get to the code editing section, find where you want to put the donate button and paste it into the code. After pasting the code, I'm going to save and then click on the code to see if it works. Good. Now I want to try the URL code. The good thing about the URL code is that I can place it in messages and post on social media. I'm going to post it on Facebook and try it out. I'll paste the code and click post. And you can see that it works as well. 
Your QR code is best used for events, in-person fundraisers, and printed materials. So when a person scans on the QR code, it will take them directly to your fundraiser. And that is how you make a donate button. Hopefully you find that information useful. If it was, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. I will be making more videos very soon. Thanks for watching.